Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today I have Chantel with Growing Up Without Ooh. Borders. Yes. And we're going to talk about what it's like as an American and Canadian moving abroad. And so this is going to be part one. And if you want to see part two, which you will want to see, it's going to be up on the Growing Up Without Borders. I'll have the link in the description. There we so go. here we go. So to start us out, let's talk a little bit about our story. So I'm an American uh, that moved my family of six to New Zealand and I have lived here for seven years. And so I have lots of stories. If you want to hear them all, it's all on my channel. Uh, but today, I, me and Chantel were just talking and like just so many stories about what it's like moving abroad and we came up with this video idea. And so I hope that you like it. So why don't you share a little bit about you so okay. then we can just jump in. Yeah, so really fast. So we're a family of five. My husband and I, we have three girls and uh, we travel around the world. We came here in March, 2020. Um, got stuck in New Zealand for a wee while and kind of fell in love with the culture and had fun with it and uh, now we are officially moving to New Zealand. Yes. So, yeah, so we're kind of two women with kids moving yes. abroad. We both yes. work from home. We're very similar. Very you know? similar. And so it's like yes. easy to connect with Tara. Every right. time I see her, we're like, we, we share have so many have funny stories. Fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. And so we were just talking about it and it's so funny because we like decided if you, okay, well we had like my live cooking show yesterday and we started to hint on some of the differences yeah. of being um, from Canada or from America, say in New Zealand in particular, or maybe you have stories other places, but um, okay. So one of the things that we talked about was when I, when I first came here and I still do, when people meet me, they ask, are you from Canada? And she said, no, so I get like every time we speak and we don't even sound really American, but we kind of have this like blended accent. Yeah. People always are like, oh, you guys are from the U.S. And we're like, oh, no. We're well, from you lived in the U.S. for 10 years, right? Like so six, it's not. Six, oh, six years. Oh, yeah, okay. But still, you know, you kind of usually get your, your Yeah, of course. I from. think you like, sound Canadian. I but. think I sound Canadian. <laughs> People say I sound Canadian, but they always say like U.S. first. And I think it's just because the U.S. is so big. It's just like, oh, you're from the States, right? And I'm like, oh, no, we're from Canada. And then the first thing they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yes, yeah. they apologize. <laughs> and that's exactly what I get. Because I'm like, no, I'm but not they, from Canada. because clearly not Canadian. No, <laughs> Americans are very offended by being called Canadian, just really? like Kiwis are offended by being They're called... They're offended? Yeah, sorry, it's true. Oh, that's funny. Because we're like, we don't really acknowledge that Canada exists. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. We're the true North strong and free. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys are like um, our big brother, you know? You're like the big brother beside us and like, you know. It is what yeah, it is. we don't even know that you're there. I know. <laughs> Have you not seen the videos online where people are like, can you point to Canada? And they're like, yeah, they don't know. It's huge. It's something. right above. Like, if you're, especially if you're in Minnesota or something, but like, you know, and so I say when people ask me if I'm Canadian, I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and they're like, oh, sorry. Well, we always say that because Canadians get mad if we Ooh. think that they're American. Oh. Yeah, it's not well, easy have you to not... be American in 2023. Let's just be honest. Have you about not that. seen <laughs> when you're traveling? backpackers who put a Canadian flag on their backpack and they speak and you know they are not Canadian like they are so American and you're like are you what yes. why would they do that because in certain countries they don't want to say they're American because they might be poorly looked on in certain countries yeah no it's true you I've definitely seen I've that. seen the change even just being I'm here for like, seven years oh. you're like okay yeah. <laughs> you know uh and you can't hide it really because the accent always gives you away yeah. and so but that's yeah. funny no so that's that's like one thing but yeah most people are like a lot of the people here will be like oh yeah so Canada and the U.S. is similar to our Australia and New Zealand kind of vibe. Right. Just like, like you don't actually dislike them but it's just a little bit like wait I'm not Australian you know, yeah. if you're from New Zealand, right? Like, yeah. and it's the same way. So, yeah. you know, it's just, it is similar, I, a little bit similar. Uh, and then arguing about like who owns what or whatever. But I'm just telling you, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think in any conversation living in the U.S. till I was 30 some years old that we ever talked about Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's I remember like maybe you find out like movie stars are from Canada you're like really? Oh you'd be shocked. You're always like a little disappointed. <laughs> oh no! Just so weird. anyway, like, yeah, yeah no no it's true, oh, it's true. That's funny. But um, there's plenty of good ones. Anyway, I've learned to appreciate Canada. Okay, because this, okay, one more thing about that. So I've made lots of friends and then friends are like I'm gonna go move to Canada. And for me that was like why? 
why would you move to Canada and not the U.S.? Like, why would you do that? Obviously, it's easier if you're in the, you know, Commonwealth, Commonwealth and all of that. So right. that makes sense. But actually, people prefer it. People are like, we don't want to move to the U.S. You oh, know, like it was like, we don't want to, you know, we could root mark on the obvious reasons. <laughs> but like, in general, this was before, like, probably all of this stuff. This was early on. They were just like, no, we'd rather move to Canada. And for me, as an American, hearing that was like, Huh. <laughs> well, what I find interesting and kind of funny is we were just in India this year, mm. or I guess now last year, and um, we went yeah. to certain areas, and there's these huge immigration signs, move to Canada, move to oh, New really? Zealand. Yeah, 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 big, huge, it's a big business. They're bringing people in, mostly in like that Punjab area. Oh, okay. I think other parts of the country too, but there, like, that was the only spot I saw, these big, huge signs on all the build like buildings. And so we were like, this is crazy, and I'm like, why would like if a person literally chose to move to Canada and they had the option between Canada and New Zealand just for the weather alone? The weather. For the pick weather. New Zealand. Like, what are you thinking? But I, I don't know. They have this mind, and I'm I feel bad for no, them. No, like, it's I like I feel it's... bad for them. They get there in January or February. They're probably like, what did I do? You know? Yeah, I just I feel know. like it's very highly regarded as a Commonwealth country, Canada it's is, that I just country. had never experienced. Because I live in the U.S. where it's like, this is the greatest place on earth, why would you ever want to go anywhere else? Like, kind of mentality, right? Yeah. People is. don't travel, people don't really know there, you know? And you, and you don't want to diss it, because it is a good country. I feel no, like it, it is, is it is. I've been there. Like yeah. Once I've been to New Zealand, I then went, when I went back to the U.S., I then traveled to Canada quite a bit, because it is stunning. And so much of it, when I was walking, moving around like cafes and stuff felt like New Zealand I'm like whoa wow this is giving me New Zealand vibes right. which America doesn't at all oh, interesting <laughs> and it's so huge it's a very big country so it changes yes. from one side to the other yeah that's it's, true it's very right. different I right? haven't seen everything so, but it is stunning yeah it is yeah. like really beautiful yeah. so to be honest I need to go back and discover my own country to be honest like I've discovered like, like how long have you lived in Canada as an adult um, like, you know, to adult. really, yeah, like where you can really oh, appreciate hardly, it. Like because, three years. Yeah, see, like you yeah. do, right? Like we left, we left, and I, I, I was gone from 16 to 20, and then I was only back for a few years, and yeah. I started going to Florida, so maybe four, no, maybe four or five years. Okay. Yeah. But that's still not a lot. Like, that's Even true. Like you, On and off, on and off. I think that you would appreciate it. So see. I think that if I went back to No, the no, U no, I feel like seven, because Julia was only born, and that's okay. when I started going back. So like, you've been in Canada born. for seven years. Or like more. you lived like as a, an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. Okay, I was there seven to ten years, years yes. this is yes. what we're gonna say. Yeah. But like I think that also when you travel like you travel and live so many places, that you then start to appreciate different things about your country that you wouldn't have if you didn't. Yeah. Like I'm definitely feeling that way. Like I'm obviously America has all its problems and I really appreciate living in New Zealand, but I can start to see, you know, you just do look at it differently. So one other thing for this video that I want to talk about is Okay, I just wanna give you some advice, okay? Now, moving to New Zealand, you're going to feel not that different. You're gonna feel like, oh, this is the same, but just a little bit different, okay? That's what you're gonna feel. As you get in depth into the culture, it's quite different. And so this is why I have the training hub for people moving here because like you don't really understand and like that's really helpful. But in addition to that, what I really suggest is that you get used to asking questions. So if you're not a person that asks questions, yeah, it's gonna take you a while. <laughs> because like even today, so we've been here for like seven years, even today we were in a meeting this morning and we're like, what did he say? Yeah, we just didn't get <laughs> There's it. a lot of mumbling, there's a lot of variation in, in the accent here. And man, you miss a lot. Both of us, we looked, looked at each other and we're like, what just happened? What, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, we, so like are you kidding me? And then like words, like we're constantly learning words. And, and like, I have I had to get used to saying, I actually, and because it feels embarrassing and it feels like, and you just want to pretend like you know what it means. But I'm, I'm just here to encourage you to ask the question because I, because I was like, what it, are you? Because sometimes I don't even know if that's positive or negative. <laughs> like on a very basic level, what are you even saying? Because they're using jargon or whatever, and it's jargon that I haven't heard. And I feel like I know everything, and I don't. <laughs> And you just, and it's just so different. So definitely ask questions. So here's a story, just one quick story. When I first moved here, um, somebody invited me to lunch. So nice, the people here, so nice, right? Do you That's think the people awesome. are so nice? Yes. So she invites me to lunch and she is a really strong accent and she's giving me directions to her house. And I, <laughs> I'm not, no joke. I think I asked her seven times <laughs> to repeat it, to spell it, to write it. And I'm telling you by the end of it, still no idea. Still no idea. 
And like, what am I gonna do? I don't know where I am. I don't have any sense of where anything is. What was she saying? I don't, I don't know. She was spelling it out, but like the way they were saying the letters was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, no. And I felt, so, I was so embarrassed, you know, cause I have to keep asking. And, and so that's what, in English. Imagine moving to a country where you don't and that's speak the language. English. <laughs> and so I, I, I ended up, Okay, so my plan was, <laughs> is I get in the car and then I decided I was just gonna go to the general vicinity, tell, call her then, tell her where, I, and then I, I eventually got there. But it was, I, I was really stressed <laughs> because I don't know. And I asked the question seven times, like, can you repeat again and again and again? So funny. And yeah, or can you text it to me? You know, uh, give me that. Maybe I didn't have a phone yet. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know what I did, but I got there and it was stressful. So there's so many stories like that. So even like, I even encourage people when they get off the plane, you, you don't have your cell phone set up yet. Mm -hmm. So just ask somebody, like they're really, really helpful. Um, but yeah, and be okay with asking questions. There you go. That's the lesson for today. Okay. All right, so go over to Growing Up Without Borders and for watch part, part two. two.